Hi, my beautiful friends. I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here. And today I'm super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you my new dining room. And I'm going to show you the before and how the space looked when we purchased the house um, and then show you kind of the current status of the space. It's not fully decorated and finished, but it's to a point where there has been a huge transformation that I thought would be a value to share and fun to share. So that's why I'm coming with you today, along with it is a space that we're using during the renovation process to um, be our kind of happy space in the morning for our go to for our coffee bar, our pantry and different things like that. So I did want to also uh, come with this video today to share that with you, because, you know, when you live in a renovation pro uh, project, you have to be creative. And so that's kind of what we've done with the dining room space right now. So let me stop talking and let's jump right in. Okay, friends, so let's take a look at the before of our dining room. And one thing I love about this home is the layout of it. And as you come in the home from the entryway, this is the dining room is right off to the right hand side. And it's absolutely perfect amount of space for Mike and I. And as you can see, it has the Berber carpet. It's very dated. This is a beautiful, older, custom built home that just needs us to come in and bring life to it. Of course, you see it has, um, like I said, the Berber carpet, the popcorn ceiling, which Mike and I have an amazing way to get rid of popcorn ceiling. If that's an issue in your house that is not tedious or messy, I can't wait to share that with you also. Um, you, but you can tell at some point this dining room was the dining room. I mean, the curtains are very expensive curtains for back in the day. Now they're a bit dated, but you could tell that they, you know, they were custom made. Also, the lighting is a very elaborate and just oversized. You really can't tell um, from the video, but you know, again, dated. And so it is time for Mike and I to get in and kind of make it ours. So now let me show you the current state after we've done some of our renovations. And so here is where we're at with the dining room. As you can see, it's kind of turning more into our space. We have the floors in, but we still need to put the baseboards in. And we're waiting to do all our baseboards kind of at one swoop instead of doing room by room. And then also, the walls have not been quite kind of any molding or anything put out, decorative molding rather. Um, the flooring is the same flooring that we had in our previous home, just a different um, color tone, but we love it. It is durable. It's great if you have pets. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, it's by Florid, a company called Florid. And I'll talk more on the floors as we go through this renovation journey. But this room is just coming together. Of course, we got things like I'm waiting on my light fixture to come in and, you know, we got to change out the plugs and, you know, just different, different things. And then, you know, finally the decorating. Um, so it's basically just a, a blank white slate right now. You guys know that I am putting more color into my home, this home, and it's going to be exciting to put those blues and touches of green in here. Um, the, you'll notice that the French doors are off because they are also getting a makeover and we're wrapping that up. Um, of course, they're going going to be uh, white also with the chrome hardware and here you see the doors here and they're just waiting 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 to get finished up so that they can be put back in place and that's really going to bring some nice drama to the entry into the dining room which I love and I love the size of this dining room I think it's just perfect for where Mike and I are now and like I said the chrome hardware this is the um, hardware that's going throughout the house you guys know how much I love the chrome and it's so important that when you change out your kind of hardware that you think about the hinges it makes a huge difference friends now, the dining room is also serving as our makeshift coffee bar area because um, the kitchen is dim, you know, we demoed the kitchen and so we don't have a, you know, a full functioning kitchen, don't have a stove, don't, you know, don't have those things. And so um, the dining room is the perfect place to kind of have that go to, uh, to come for our coffee. And recently friends, I picked up these mugs from home goods and they're great because you can put them in the oven, even though I don't have an oven or, <laughs> or the microwave, but it's, I love them because we can use them for our soups or for coffee. And, you know, as we're living in this renovation project, we're having to strategically eat differently or just kind of adjust our, uh, how, you know, adjust 
four-star meals to fit not having a full running kitchen. And the cabinet here, this is, you remember this from my previous dining room, and it's going to stay in here, but right now it's just functioning as a catch-all for all of those essentials that we need. It is, the baskets are our pantry, and then our paper towels, and our utility items. And so when I recommend, when you are in a renovation, um, or you're going to live in a renovation, that you take a moment to really organize where you're going to put things for you to live. And friends, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to be a part of the At Home with Nikki family. So definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you receive notifications. But back to kind of our utility pantry cabinet, and it really is just working for us. And like I said, when you when you live in a renovation, you gotta find those spaces that are gonna make you feel semi-normal because it gets totally chaotic. And so now that we're past the part of all the dust and all the, you know, the craziness, we are able to start trying to just kind of create those little moments in the house that are going to kind of get us through until we fi totally finish this process. So having a place to come easily grab a paper cup or a paper plate, which we're using now, this bowl has been my everything. I use it for so many things. Um, I use it from just simply making salads, which are easy because you don't need a stove. We grill out a lot because Mike has that um, black stone that he got for his birthday. So he's able to grill and cook breakfast out there. It's great for kind of putting all the stuff in for grilling. Um, right now it's holding our paper plates and you know it's also just that one big bowl that I can use for so many things my neighbor has a beautiful garden and she's always bringing me over veggies and so it's so nice to have a place to put them and it just makes me happy um in this this renovation process to be able to have kind of a fruit bowl or a veggie bowl bowl right so just having that large bowl has it's just bought us so much joy or rather me and then these are some plates that I had got recently from HomeSense that are outdoor plates. And so I haven't really used them yet. Not really, I haven't at all used them, but um, I just, because I just got them, I didn't want them to get lost in the shuffle of renovation. So I sat them up here. And then the white bins are what I actually use for some utility items or renovation items rather. So, you know, some are vent covers and hinges and um, electrical, um, uh, switch plates and just having those categorized and organized so that we can easily get to them because one thing I will say with the renovation process um, project if you're not organized it can be stressful it's stressful anyway but if you're always having to look for a hammer look for where's that uh, light switch plate that I bought or where's that light fixture I bought because everything is just a disastrous mess it's very stressful so if that is your case hit the pause button Take time, regroup, find a place to centralize a lot of things. It doesn't necessarily always have to be in the same place. Like we don't keep our tools in the dining room. We keep those in the butler's pantry. We don't keep um, our light fixtures and things, or things, the big bulky things that we bought. We don't keep those in the dining room. We keep those in a cl another closet. And so just kind of having those zones and kind of those little stores or just different little stores to keep those things so that you know where to go. And friends, I do want to make an announcement that I am speaking again at the HQ Virtual Summit. I do this every year. It's such a great summit. It is a free summit where there are a ton of expert speakers that bring so much value on a variety of subjects. I'm going to be speaking on um, how you can put together an emergency preparedness plan. I'll put the link below totally free ticket so definitely go and grab it and it's going to be running from september 11th through the 15th and i hope you will come join it and you can watch it it's a it's a virtual summit so you join it right from your home you don't even have to leave your home so friends i do want to tell you that my cabinet did get damaged in the move and so it was very minor mike can definitely fix it and so you'll never know that that happened when he's done with it um but that did happen so i was thankful that that was the only thing because that is a very heavy 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 cabinet and so but the room is now looking like okay a space that is forming into my dining room so i'm going to be excited to see the baseboards go in and to see kind of wall features to go in and light fixtures going in. and so now it's kind of coming together um, but right now it really is a place that we can come to in the morning and and here's the thing i really wanted mike to more so than me to have a place before he goes to work because he leaves out pretty early to come grab his coffee grab a bagel 
you know, don't need to have to um, kind of get to a stove or anything like that or um, any issues like that. We do have a fridge, so that is, you know, just kind of was a, a must there. But um, for him to easily be able to come and grab his coffee, grab something to eat, like to eat rather, and then head out the door, um, sometimes putting fruit over here. We like tangerines a lot, so sometimes putting tangerines over here and things like that. So that's kind of our go-to for that. And it just really saves time and saves stress. And also, um, I think a big, if you notice that big difference in this space is no popcorn ceiling. And I'm telling you guys, it, it just makes a huge difference. And um, it was going to be quite expensive for someone to come in and remove all the popcorn ceiling. So Mike and I found a great way to do it where you don't have a lot of dust. It's really simple. I've talked about it before, but I think, you know, Mike and I talked, I said, I feel like we really need to do a specific video on that because there's so many people that may have that popcorn ceiling that they're frustrated with that they really want to get rid of it. So look for that to come. And so again, just having those just, little areas in your renovation project I have found to really help me keep my sanity and, and help me see the space come together. So as we're working through spaces, I'm trying to kind of um, clean them up and put them together semi so it doesn't feel um, so all over the place. But friends, I feel like it's such a huge difference in the space with just a little bit of paint and the new flooring. It just, those two things will totally just totally transform a space. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, seeing my update of where we are with the living room. A lot more to come. And I'll also link my previous videos that I just recently posted on our renovation. And I hope you will enjoy them also. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed seeing our dining room and the status of where we're at with it. Definitely, if you have missed the other videos on this renovation journey, I will link them in the description box below. Also, I want to remind you to go sign up for the free H2 Summit. You won't be disappointed. Just so many valuable nuggets and it's free. So definitely sign up for that. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.